Hello everyone, my name is Ram. Do you like trains and transport tycoons? This is the first video of an experimental series about how to use tile maps in Godot and make a great train transport tycoon game. I will show and explain what I do but it is not intended to be a complete and rigorous tutorial series. The concept of the game is to transport materials and goods between producers and consumers. I am not inventing this kind of game. Many will be familiar with Transport Fever and OpenTTD for example. But I want to point out two key differences of the game I want to make. The art style and the economic model. The art style is inspired by shapes.io. It has a simple but clear and nice aesthetic. The other key difference between my game and other transport tycoons is that the value of goods will be driven mainly by supply and demand. The main problem of transport fever in my opinion is that the value of a resource is calculated by the distance transported regardless if the same resource is available much closer. To unrealistic situations where the best way to make profit is to move resources back and forth across the map. I will design polytransport so that it will be more profitable to find closer resources when available, allowing the player to make fun geographic decision when planning their transport company. And when there's no resource to be found close to a certain city, values will increase because of their rarity and it will become profitable to move goods from further away. I am using a clean and simple art style with shapes and colors. It has the advantage of being simple enough for me to create the assets. I also like that simple graphics help focus the attention of the player to the game mechanic. So I would call the game Polytransport. I use a sprite to make the asset. At the moment this is the only software I paid for in my entire workflow. I use Godot for game programming and DaVinci Resolve for video editing which are both free. At first I use Krita for making pixel art but Aceprite is so simple and quick. It mostly has everything I need and not more. I made the shapes, towns and track tiles images with Aceprite. You have to pay particular attention to the way you design your tracks so that they connect nicely with each other in any rotation. This is the first time I use tile maps in Godot or any other game engine. I don't know if it is the optimal way to design this kind of game but at least at a small scale it seems to work well. Please take what I say about tile maps with a grain of salt because I have very little experience with them and also give me tips and tricks in the comment section or on discord if you see something that might help. A tile map is just a fancy word for a two-dimensional grid of components called tiles. Each tile, often square, represent a certain type of terrain or object on a level. In my case I want to use tile maps to create my world with tiles to represent towns, tracks, stations, producers and factories. The first step is to import the assets in Godot. You just have to place images in your project folder. This is the structure I chose. Verify that the image is imported properly. For pixel art you should uncheck filter. Make tiles and name them appropriately. You can also assign a color right away. Create different tile sets to keep things organized. Use a tile map and assign a tile set. Using the editor, you can start laying the tiles around to create your world. Note that you can put tiles from different tile maps on top of each other. Use right click to remove. You can rotate and flip and use control click to select a tile from the map. A limitation of tile maps is that tiles do not have individual script and data. For example, when I place a track tile I need the game to understand that it has a path for trains to use or placing a station close to a producer should draw materials from the producer. In the next video we will explore how to analyze the tile maps and generate the required information in train tracks. I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who tried Buzzy Fields and gave some feedback. It helps me a lot and I will be able to show some progress in the near future. If you want to try it, go to ramhomey.itch.io slash buzzyfields and download it for free. Thank you for watching and see you next time.